EA Sports, it's in the game. Venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Argentina, and they take on Saudi Arabia. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an excited match. Paredes. Now well Molina. Can he find the right pass? But really sticking to the task defensively. Can he convert? My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And a touch off the defender last of all. So a corner. Jay Cheeto. That's a try. The keeper there to make sure nothing on the wall happens. High quality defending. Saleh Al Shekhvi. Well, they have the ball once more. Well, they've lost the ball. Messi must take the lead here and there is the goal that gives them a well-merited lead it had been coming well as we see it again he was never going to miss that was he that's a really simple finish in the end well, the ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be And a tidy tackle. Al Malki. Al Shekhvi. Well, he's won the ball. A bit sloppy in possession. Promising avenue of attack favoured by Messi. But nothing comes of it. Lionel Messi. Has a go, and still an opportunity. Just the clearance that was called for. They've got it now, what can they do? And he read it really well, fine save. Cleared away comprehensively. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two Lionel Messi. And I must say, that was a very promising attack. The alarm bells were sounding. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Coming up at half time, there will be a display from the release dog display team. So stay in your seats for that. Well, they've got things going again here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Well timed tackle. Messi. Molina. On to Messi. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Lionel Messi. Well, couldn't keep it. 
Salman Al Faraj couldn't find a teammate throw in here oh he's given the ball away now we're into the final half hour and they need to get tighter here and a fine reading of the situation that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances Martinez, it should be! Oh, really good reflexes and danger averting. Well, it wasn't the easiest header to control, but still he'll be a bit disappointed. Salman Al Faraj. Now, well, time just challenged magnificently. Messi. Martinez. Paredes. Oh, great defending. Messi. Martinez. Well, they have it again. Couldn't keep it. And it's through here. convert late drama here level once more incredible scenes well as you can see he's a great talent what a run what a goal and what a play he is and time for the change now so the ball is and there we have it the referee says that will do it for this match it was pretty even and that has been reflected in terms of the scoreline Stuart yeah very difficult to split them over the 90 minutes now their focus will turn to the next fixture it's vital they pick up three points otherwise it's to the Al Faik Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Al Khor. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is Stuart Robson and both teams with one game each under their belt already let's see how they fare this time around it's Argentina up against Poland well Derek after their draw on the opening day it's vital they get three points at home today this should be an intriguing game I think Messi well, doesn't have to do it on his own but the danger averted for now Shimon Zhurkovsky is it going to end up being productive for them but nothing comes of it well that is how to play advantage Martinez Di Maria opportunity here using all his defensive acumen to cut it out and there it is the breakthrough that will do nicely well as you can see this is a wonderful strike he makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it it's a great goal so the match is restarted 1-0 here number 22 Well, nothing wrong with the header, but it was always going that little bit off target. And he read it superbly. Krikowiak. Karol Świderski. It might be. He had to react and did.
De Paul. Another textbook interception. Zalewski. So almost at half time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half time if it stays like this. Can he put it away? Well, they've solved the problem for now, but let's see. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. The first half here comes to an end. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Went in strongly, decisively. Zielinski. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Lionel Messi. Is this the moment? And still an opportunity. And no nonsense defensive clearance. And they're making a change. Lionel Messi. Shot attempted. Sebastian Szymanski. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Rigoviak. Szymon Zhurkowski. And a tidy challenge. He's in behind. And the keeper has denied it. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. And time for the change now. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, here it is again. He's alive to the situation. He makes good contact with the ball and he keeps it down. That's a nice-headed goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. And a tidy tackle. Rodrigo de Paul. What can they do from here? Can they convert? And a really good diving stop. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Krigoviak. Five minutes left. Plenty of support here. Zhurkovsky. Now Krigoviak. Really bright looking attack. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. And the final whistle, a victory for Argentina, precisely what their fans were hoping for, Stuart. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Albite Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And two games in the books already for these two sides, this their final group stage test. It's Argentina versus Mexico. Well you have to be consistent in these group games, you can't afford to have an off day otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game though Derek hope we're not disappointed well read to put an end to that attack
Andres Guardado. Lozano. Rodriguez. Jimenez. Perfect challenge. Ball back with Argentina now. Messi. Lovely work to get past his man. And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. And behind it's gone for a corner. Still not clear. No worries for the keeper. Martinez. Be sure to register. Andres for your Guardado. To go today's lucky fan Lozano. Now Guardado with it. A special fan prize package. No luck keeping Spend possession. On the concourse near section 106. And it's Messi going forward. What's he going to do next? Speculative effort. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Can they take the lead? Well, what an opportunity that was. Well, that's a great chance to open the scoring. It's a poor effort in the end. Now, well, Molina. Lionel Messi. Now, what can Lionel Messi do from here? Can he convert? So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. That is that for the first half here. Would the club secretary please note that Mr. Moon is in the building. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. A timely intervention. Messi. Martinez. Just cutting off the supply. Jimenez. Jimenez. Can they forge ahead? And a goal! No! Broken through, 1-0 here. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Raul Jimenez. 30 minutes left for play. And intercepts again. And given away. Edson Alvarez. Alvarez now. Guardado. Well, this game will shortly be history and the home side appear to be on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, give us your take. Well, there it's... well, they get themselves level here. Well, they had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And the referee retrospectively will go back and hand out the yellow card. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, not cleared away completely. Sanchez promising sequence Papu Gomez Martinez Messi and if you're wondering about that in time two minutes it'll be
And now it's over, and Argentina have to reflect on what has gone wrong here. It's a defeat, and not something that they were hoping to have to digest. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat. Good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And really looking forward to bringing you this World Cup Round of 16 match. It's Argentina versus France. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here. But whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Molina. Getting forward. And let's give credit to the defending. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Kylian Mbappe. Can he take the chance? And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. So, underway again here. One nil the score. Julian Interception to snuff out the danger. Well, let's have to dispossess your opponent. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. Paredes. Rodrigo de Paul. Messi. Celso. Will he find the net? Excellent defending, but the chance is still on. Well, inching towards half time, and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Martinez. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And take it away. He won the ball. And with that, the first half draws to a close. With the club secretary, please note, Mr. Moon has left the building. And the ball is moving again, with France looking to build on a largely positive first-half performance here. Well, attacking possibilities, and a fine reading of the situation. Martinez. Di Maria, back with Martinez. Super tackle and they've won possession. Lionel Messi. Aurelien Chouameni. Coman. Well, they have it again. And a tidy challenge. And a throw in for Argentina. Di Maria Martinez Messi The ball 
ball with Martinez. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And problem solved for now. And into the last 15 minutes of action. France moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Martinez. Kunde. Paul Pogba. Aurelia Chouameni. De Paul. Messi. Well, still time for them to level it. And no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. <laughs> if you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And it's over! France are through to the quarterfinals. Well, Derek, that was a tough game. They had to work really hard to edge it. Credit to them, though, they didn't have it all their own way, but they showed a lot of character and resilience, which will hold them in good stead going forward into the next round.